They're pretty they popular here. I see a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of smokers here. And they're fast, too, you know. They're very fast cars. They make them WRX there. It's like three times the horsepower with that flathead. So while you're working, tell me about the shop a little bit. Well, I started out in the 70s because I didn't have any money. I wanted a motorcycle. My parents said, well, we have a motorcycle anyway. But we, uh, so one of my friends had a scooter. And that didn't seem too terribly dangerous. Cushman, we have that. Cushman Eagle. Uh, I wish it was. It was actually, <laughs> that's a Lambretta. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got it home, and uh, I think I sold it to my brother anyway. We got it for $25. It wasn't a big investment. <laughs> and there was an old guy on the other side of Guilford that helped me get it running. And my uncle, my uncle Ken, the well driller, he helped me get it running. And uh, then we got a little bigger bike, and my father tried that and said, no, this isn't for me. We didn't complain to us too much after that. So anyway, I wound up being that if I wanted one, I had to fix one to make it run. Yeah. And uh, here I am. Here I am. And you know, I like the older the better. Um, my wife and I have in my living room, and I, oh, my wife's right here. Uh, my wife and I have a 1917 Harley. Really? Room. Is Come she on, here? Yeah. Come on in. Hey there. Oh, all right. This is Laura. She never had any motorcycles because she met me. Now yeah, she's got them. She, she, had, them she's she has no choice, right? We have Italian bikes, we have American bikes, we have Japanese bikes, we have them all. And we like them all. We like them all. Sometimes the bikes are better than the people. Who said that? <laughs> I'm taking the shop dog home. So. Oh my goodness. No, not Nelly. Yeah, I'm taking Miss Nelly. Oh, all right. Gee bye. All right. Take care. Bye we'll see bye. You. See y'all. All right, I'm going to wrap it up in a second, but I got my eye on the Triumph you got back here. Ah, there you go, there you go. I love those. I, I remember in college, my friend, a couple of friends had them. Well, you're in the right place because um, there's still our barns in Vermont, and there's still our things in them. I mean, we've had we've had the pickers called me twice, or had their scout call me twice, and I just, you know, it's not my kind of thing. So I just said, no, we're not going to do it. Um, but there are still a lot of things in the barn here in Vermont. You can still find yeah. old motorcycles, cars, yeah. boats, airplanes, or whatever you need, you know? So it's gotten the, the dollar values much higher. I, me I remember I bought a 1954 Harley for $40. <laughs> and now it would be yeah. $25,000. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's that's not good for these young guys because they, they aren't worth any more yeah. than I paid for them. Yeah. But now they have to pay yeah. a fortune for the damn yeah. thing. But we still like them all anyway. And Bradwood's a good town. Well, I was walking down Main Street and somebody had a trailer with a 41 Packard on it that they just pulled out of a barn in Bradwood. Nice. That was unbelievable. Nice. Just nice. dirt and a little paint peeling, nice. but everything. The wow. windshield wipers were perfect. Wow, that's very nice. That's very nice. Well, I have gotten way more of my share stuff in barns than they ever should have gotten but it's been good i mean it, it augments the money that we make working on motorcycles and it's fun it's, it's probably less work too you know up there on that top shelf that's a 40s wizard that's what a guy that was 12 years old was delivered his newspaper on. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Rules, you know? the belt drive on the back wheel all right well i'm gonna take off all right my friend it's fun talking well, anytime, stop in here. Make sure right. we don't have the dream bike of the dream bike in here. You just never know what can happen. All right, I'm going to sign off here. Yeah, all right, thank you, Jake.